Amen. Glory to God. My name is Jonathan Kale, and I have another prophetic word. This word is a rebuke, okay? This word is the divine word of the Most High God, okay? And we must be very careful, okay? We must be very careful because uh, life and death, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All right? Now, today is March 11th, and the Lord has spoken another word through me. Amen? And here is the word of the Lord. Religion is external worship to God. It is outward obedience. When you say you are not religious, you testify against yourself ignorantly before the face of God. Religion is external worship. External meaning outward. Worship means to make obeisance. Okay? Do reverence to. It is the most frequent word rendered to worship. An act of homage or reverence to God. Devote. Devout. It is synonymous to godliness. The, the Greek word uh, eulabia. Uh, devotedness. Arising from godly fear. The word uh, threskia. Okay? If I pronounce that right. It's spelled. The first word that I said elubia is uh, E-U-L-A-B-E-I-A. For all those studiers, okay? T H R E S K E I A. Amen. Uh, we testify against ourselves when this is this is what the word religion stems from. And we testify against ourselves when we say we are not religious, just as the Pharisees testified against themselves before Jesus. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and hypocrites. Because you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the monuments of the righteous and say, if we had lived in those days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Therefore, you are witnesses against yourselves that you are sons of the, those who murdered the prophets. Okay? And, and many saints are testifying before demonic angels. Amen. They're testifying. So you don't see what's going on in the spiritual realm when you're speaking words that you have no understanding of. Okay? And we have to be, we have to understand. We, it says in all you're getting, it says, it says wisdom is a principal thing. It says, you know, get wisdom. Okay? And in all you're getting, get understanding. Okay? It says, uh, and many saints are testifying before demonic angels that they speak of things they do not know okay what they are talking about they don't know what they're talking about and so further accept more heresy they they accept more heresy they accept more falsehood because they're already saying things that they don't have understandings of what these definitions mean they you speaking things that you don't it becomes cliche and we're speaking these cliche things like you know I'm Baptist okay you say you're Baptist Baptist means to dip Okay? It means to submerge under water. Or, or if you were baptized in the Holy Ghost, you were submerged in the Holy Spirit. Amen? You were dipped in Him. Okay? And He submerged you and He, he filled you okay? with His powerful Holy Spirit. Amen? Okay. Mm. Glory to the name of the Lord. Okay? It says, uh, and so further accept more heresy and lies and falsehood due to their own shame. Okay? He said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because they have rejected the truth. The spirit is against legalism and traditions of men. Amen. Make no mistake. Okay. The spirit of God, the spirit of the holy Jehovah Yahweh, Yeshua. Okay. He is against this. He is against legalism. Okay. And traditions of men, which is often misquoted as religion. Amen. And religion is godly, it's godliness and contentment. Okay, it's glory to God, and we deny Him with our mouth, yet profess Him in the sight of angels. Double-mindedness, and this is unstable. Okay, and not, and we're not learned in the reverence of God, and we're speaking, the, we're speaking words that we have no awareness of. Amen. He says, "Do not make self-imposed religion," which is in Colossians two twenty-three. Do not mistake that with pure and undefiled religion which is in James which is spoken of in James 1:27 but read James 1:26 and 27 glory to God amen 
do not be un he says be unspotted from the worldly theology glory to God amen be unspotted from the worldly theology and from the worldly perception of these false teachers be religious amen your religion is the way glory to God he says, study to show yourself a proof. Now, we have to understand this, okay? This is a word of the Lord. Glory to his name. Amen? We have to know these things, okay? Today, the time we're in, they're preaching once saved, always saved, okay? They're preaching it's not about religion. It's about relationship, amen? But religion is synonymous to godliness, Amen. And you're speaking about things that you have no awareness of. You're saying that you're 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 almost is this you're saying you're not godly and it's not about godliness, it's about relationship. Amen. It's external worship, it's external service, it's external obedience, it's the doing, it's the act, it's the works. Amen. Today we are against works. Amen. I want to go to grace. I want to go to the grace message right here because see, we're in a time we People are speaking against grace. They're speak, speak, speaking against grace and not understanding that they are. Okay? Most people who are preaching about grace are preaching against grace in their ignorance. Amen? It says right here in Ephesians 2, 8 through 10. Amen? It says right here, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Okay? Only God can save you. Amen? Only Jesus Christ, Yeshua, El Yeshuati, can save you. He is the only one. Okay? Not of works, lest anyone should boast. You did nothing of yourself. You did not die on the cross. You did not, you, your blood is not holy. Amen? You do not cleanse. You cannot forgive uh, anyone's sins. Amen? Only Jesus can. That's why the Pharisees questioned him. How can he forgive sins? Amen. It says, for we are his workmanship. Now, this is where we get everything twisted. Amen. This is religion. Amen. We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which, good, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. We are saved to do the work of God. We are saved to save others. We are saved to preach the gospel. We are saved to go reach souls. Amen. We're not saved to Go get a word at church and relax and, you know, oh, that was a good word. And then just, you know, live your life, okay? No, we are saved to, to encourage the sinner and admonish them to turn away from their worldly lifestyles of demonic uh, oppression and possession and, and, and influence, amen, and, and to be freed of all that. Amen. Glory to God. We meet, We must be religious. Yes. We are in religion. Yes. I come up against all false doctrine. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, go out there, Lord Spirit of God. Please touch the souls. Let the, those who, who, are, who are unlearned learn. Amen. Because a lot of famous pastors, a lot of famous people, a lot of highly respected people speak against religion. And they have complete ignorance in what they speak. Glory to God. And the demons are listening. They're listening. And they're adding on. They're adding on to your words. They're listening. Amen. You can't see them. It's spiritual. 